Okay then, we're back in Lane to the Capital, and I am currently fighting the urge to go completely off track and do a load of quest stuff. Um, we, because of where we are and where we're about to go, uh, we're very close to being able to get to Dung Eater's physical form, which means we can do Dung Eater's quest. That clears us for doing where we want to get Celevis's quest, Selen's quest, Rani's quest, and Fia's quest. We could have a lot of quests done at this stage. Which would give us access to Tish, which in my opinion is the strongest summon in the game. Definitely the most aggressive. As well as Aduda's Moonblade, which is a direct upgrade to carrying Greatsword, especially if you go into using mostly ice magic um, and using the gear that'll set you up for that. <laughs> but we need to create a coherent walkthrough, so we'll finish the capital up to the bosses, probably, before we go off and do that. One and drop over here. I believe there's a bow over this way. Where are you? I thought there was a bow. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha. The black bow. <laughs> it's kind of an easter egg from Dark Souls. Zombies and skeletons, all a waste of time to fight, realistically speaking. Out this way is an ulcerated tree spirit. I can't remember what it drops, or if we can even use a summon. I don't know if that helps it either. I don't think it can. But realistically speaking, what we mostly want to do... There's a lot of zombies around here, and they're a pain in the ass. Um, so we're mostly going to ignore them, because I think I've said before just how much I really don't like these. Um, nothing has changed since the last time I spoke about them. Uh, this one over here, I think, is a stone sword key, so we want to grab this. Um... And then, realistically speaking, what we want to do is get through here real quick. Uh, we'll, we'll get some like lightning bombs thrown at us. So just be careful of that. Want to be real quick, get rid of a load of these. I know it's not very mage-like, but Rapier does a good job teaching little enemies like this a lesson. Uh, this isn't even locked. Strange looking door to me. I don't know why they didn't put a key in. Sometimes it's like they just kind of run out of things to do. Stone sword key. I suppose a key for a key would have been a bit crazy. Clarifying boluses. And then this ladder is going to give us a shortcut back to the grace that we start from. Which is the main reason for doing this before facing the ulcerate tree spirit, which we are going to face. I don't think I did it in my original walkthrough. Um, let me just show you guys where we are now. So that's the grace. Also, I was kind of looking around, and in the corner here, there was a smithing stone 6 that I didn't pick up while we were recording, so just make sure you grab that. I don't want to have an extra one, and then somebody asks where we got it from. Um, so with that done then, there's no real need for me to reset everything. I've used a bit of FP, and that's about it. Don't think the zombies are going to be too big of an issue when it comes to dealing with this. Move out to the left. Oh, you might be there. You're not. Uh, it's worth noting this ultimate tree spirit is completely optional. Um, instead of fighting it, you can just literally go to the left. If you don't even want to step into this bit, you can literally just go down there. It all leads the same way. That right there is a, like, I think it's like an execution, not an executioner's hood. Um, like a sack for your head or something. I can't remember what it's called now, but we're going to get it later. Get this popped. Bothers me a little bit that we can't summon for this. I wonder where it leashes. Can we fight it from here? 
to move in behind cover. Interesting. I never really thought about messing with its pathing. Just because there's so much stuff here. Oh! For it to get stuck on. No! Why did you have to go interfere, huh? Oh man, it's not quite cheese, but... It is better than going out there and facing it one-on-one. -on -one. By far. Come on, you. It's really not happy with me. Which means we're doing the right thing. Heh <laughs> Gotta love it when Adlib works like that. Some healing on the go. And go down. That's a guilty hood look, see? I knew it was something. Like you're about to get skewed. I can't remember what that is, that's important, we need to go and get that. Hands. Careful in here, there's a... Where is it? Golden Knight sat down. Ah, it doesn't go through wall... doesn't go through walls. Well, sucks to be you. Mine does. Like it cracked part. There we go. Something good. That's pretty good actually. Yeah, I haven't used any parts in a while, but I do like to have them. Um, so going around there actually is kind of progression in two ways, and I'll show that in a bit. For now, I say it a bit like it's going to be literally in a couple of minutes. For now, I want to go up here. We've got the church, and we want to literally just run straight to here as quickly as possible because there is an enemy on the left, and it can aggro on us. So we want to get down here and rest as quickly as we can. Oh, we get a new, get a new armor set here that we might be able to reuse. I think. Not you. That. Deathbed dress. I wonder if that looks nicer than what I'm wearing. I mean, I guess. What about that? Why not? Maybe we've got to change the shoes. Though. The shoes do not go with this. We can see shoes, and those shoes look terrible. Maybe like. Mm, yes. We're still light load. Yeah, that's fine. These gloves don't go though at all. Nope. 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 Mm, nope. Not really. Oh man. <laughs> There's gonna be no gloves that I like, is there? It's gonna make me wear no gloves because none of them are going to go very nicely. The cl the closest really is those. Got, let's go with those. Just so I've got something up. <coughs> something on. I'm so sorry guys, I don't, I don't know what's up with me today. Uh, oh, we can level up, let's do that. Let's get one point in my joints, because uh, I feel like that's going to be a thing, eventually. Uh, so this particular um, Omen Killer we need to beat once, because he will drop, I think it's armor set. So we want that. Excuse me, stop dodging. <clears throat> no! Take my damage. Oh, it's the mask, not its arm set. I was partially right. Partially wrong. Okay, uh, so from here, you can either go back down this way, or you can just jump off this left bit. Lots of things around here. 
Uh, we're going to clear this way first. Oh, rat. I thought we got you. Oh, that was the second one, sorry. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. What are we on? 10 minutes. Yeah, we've got plenty of time. Hands everywhere. They're not all obvious, so we need to be careful. Where are you? You. Uh, do we already have some of these crafted? Held for yesterday, right. Always good to have some fire handy when we're fighting these. It's one above me as well. Where is it? I'm sure there's one above me. Let's just stand back a bit. Can I reach you with this? Yes. Mm-mm. Where are you? I'm sure there was one over there. Guess not. Well, that was a great brew. The rest is a great bow came in handy there, right? So pretty much clears this end, which is good. It took way less time than I thought it was going to. One full health right now. Let's get that extra damage bonus in. I love having that extra damage bonus from the thing. in a minute. Oh, these... <laughs> Almost forgot they were here. And then we have broken gargoyle thing. The tree steel dagger is on this guy. We can head up here. Uh, which way should we go first? So this, we almost have an option of two graces. It's not almost. There is literally an option of two graces here. Um, ideally we want to get both. There's basically over the wing and under the wing. They're two different graces. Mm. Let's stick with Lindel Capital for now. The second one would be the subterranean shunning grounds, that's what it's called. Um, and what I'm going to do, I think we're going to leave that until I'm ready to do the quest, because that's going to be quite a nice way to get down there when we get when we decide, you know what, now it's time for the quest that I've been talking about for so long. Um, we'll head down there, we'll speak to Dung Eater, do Celevis's quest with the Dung Eater. Um, then we'll get a, a secondary strong summon. So anyway, that doesn't really want to use something like, let's say, um, Tish, whatever reason. Uh, Dung Eater is a nice other summon that's quite strong. Oh my god. Get the way that. No! <laughs> How did you not notice me? Am I a joke to you? I'm going to look like a joke in a minute. Damn it. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> How the fire bomb equips has betrayed me. Alright, there we go. You have to be careful because there's another one on the other side and we don't want to aggro all three. No! Haha! <laughs> I survived. Mostly by luck. Um, I don't think there's much else in the way of loot here that we need right now. No. So the... The Scarab we can hear is down there, and that's towards the subterranean shooting gun. So we're going to leave that bit. We'll count that as that as that area, just for the sake of keeping continuity here. And instead we'll go up this way. 
Can we see it from here? Yeah, so we can lock onto it. That's where that is there. That's surrounded by a load of those bag head guys. Um, that leads us to the to the to the to another zone, basically. We'll go there later. To keep things simple. We've done most of Lane I don't know if we're going to get it all. No, we're not going to get the last of it in this episode. So it is going to be three episodes for the capital. Not including underneath. Gravel stone. That's right. And then in here are some more enemies. Right. Ouch. I do like, when you know you're about to like kill someone, like quick whip is pretty good with the rapier. So we are surrounded by goodies and loot right now. Uh, <laughs> pretty much anyway. So over that way, we're not going to clear just yet. We're actually probably going to do that area after the boss. Um. There's an item I can't see it from here. You should have to see it from here. Um Oh we can't see it from the angle. that's real weird. That big giant golden spear, there is a piece of loot on there that we cannot miss. Um and when I say cannot miss, I mean it is entirely missable, but if we miss it and then progress the game too far, that is a trophy related item, so we need to make sure we get it. <clears throat> that kind of cannot miss. Um But we'll do that after the boss because that's how you get there. I thought there was a page down here. Oh no, it's a different set of stairs. I'm thinking about a different set of stairs. Uh, this will... Oh. You mind, I'm trying to talk. Excuse me, you rude. I'm not finishing that sentence. The slip of the gate below us. Uh, below us. Below us. Uh, and will mean that we can clear out that little bit there. As a part of the next episode. Where we'll be dealing with... Um, this here, which should look quite um, familiar to a lot of people when we get inside. So I think for the closing out of this episode, we'll go and clear. There's no point because I haven't moved Corin yet. There's some loot up there, but realistically, we don't want to go up there until we're doing Corin. So maybe we'll leave that bit until until. Um, we're doing character quests. There's just so much we have to do. Please don't one-shot me, that's not what I want. Oh, that was a nice time for you to get stunned, wasn't it? Thank you for that. So we get that. I think what we'll actually do is We'll head into the big building that's across from us. So there's a uh, there's a grace in there anyway. Uh, that's not really the way right way to do it though. Oh man! <laughs> oh, that was rude. Right, it's time for Joe's revenge arc. That was just disgusting. We're not having that again. No way. You want range combat? I'll give you range combat. Ton of stuff over there. Realistically speaking, this is probably a good place to end this episode. Uh, so yeah, we'll start back from the grace again. And we're going to come down here and we're going to um, make this kind of the last part of Lanedale, probably. There's a fair amount of stuff here, uh, including a lift that's going to take us up this way. That's going to activate a teleporter in here, which takes us to... I think it's this bit? 
takes us to a tower anyway that activates different rooms that we don't have yet. Um, there's a Stormhawk Axe. There's loads, of there's loads of stuff in here, basically. We also have the invasion to deal with. And once that's done, we're good for the boss if we want to do it. Or we can head to the subterranean shunning grounds. I don't know. Too many choices. Too many. I'm not going to fast travel back because I'm going to reset Mr. Page Boy. I'll keep you dead. Yes. Yes. Because we need to go and jump on top of there because there's a doorway, look. That's where we're going to be going. Obviously, we want to grab that loot down there. I want to just walk off without aggro in the page. Maybe we'll try that. Could be less troubling. So I will, in fact, rest the grace and we will pick back up again from here. See you guys soon.